Hi, you guys. It's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. All right. I'm working on the floral journal st still. Um, one of my subbies suggested, it was Jen. She suggested that I give it a name. And she had a really cute name. And I don't remember what it was. Um, I'm looking. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm looking, garden party or picnic in the garden. And I think picnic in the garden sounds cute. So I'm going to call the journal picnic in the garden. I have been working on it, um, doing things hit and miss and here and there. And it's totally full of all the pockets and things. Now I need to fill the pockets. And look at how big it is already. You guys, I knew. I do not know how to make a not giant journal. But that's okay. Because that's the way I like them anyway. I mean, I suppose I could do two signatures instead of three. But I don't know. Um, so today I was going to work on using the tags that were in the kit that I bought from Cara Brandon, Cara Brandon Creations. And again, that is called Pretty Florals. And um, it was one of the ones that I purchased with my winnings. That was very exciting. So I'm gonna take these. I had printed these out on cardstock, which is good. Um, and then I thought I would take some of the other pages that are like the background pages and back them. Uh, so that the backs of them aren't white. Now, if if I had known what I was going to be doing, I could have, you know, ran them back through my printer. But when I was printing them off after purchasing them, I I didn't really know in, in what way I would be using them. So I just printed them all out. I just got back from town, ran into town to get some things that, you know, the no fun shopping, the things that you have to do to keep your laundry clean, that sort of thing. Um, so I did that. My daughter's going to make something for dinner tonight. It's called tomato feta pasta bake or something like that that she's had at her friend's house and she says it's so good. So she's going to make that tonight for us. And we went to the store and bought those things. Let's see, I'll go ahead and just cut the rest of them out. So I don't have to cook. And um, she really wants me to not micromanage either. So <laughs> I'm going to try not to. I have to admit that I'm kind of a control freak, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I could be worse. <laughs> I guess that's just me making excuses for myself, but you know, it could be worse. But, um, you know, like I'm the kind of person who doesn't like the way other people stack dishes in my dishwasher and I will redo it. So maybe a little bit of a control freak. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, she's like, mom, you got to let me do it. And I'm like, fine. But, you know, there are things that she doesn't quite get, like the cooking things on medium instead of high, you know, that sort of thing. And um, so I'm like, well, I will tell you those kinds of things, but once I've said it, I'll walk away. She bakes all the time. It's just that she hasn't done a lot of actual cooking. And so she gets the whole baking thing. It's the actual cooking that she's not 100% with. One time she had her friend over and they decided to make pasta. Uh, we don't cook a lot of pasta in this house. Um, she loves it. But her dad and I, neither one of us really care for it. And then I'm also gluten intolerant, so 
if I'm eating it, it has to be gluten-free. And, you know, gluten-free pasta has gotten better, but it's not great. And so I don't like to force it on people if they don't have to eat it. Um, so anyway, she hasn't had a lot of experience cooking pasta just because it doesn't happen that much in this house. And so her and her friend bought some and they took a small saucepan, you know, like this big around and, you know, like that deep and filled it up with water and put an entire package of spaghetti sticking out of it. And I walk into the kitchen and it was really hard because I had to say something. It wasn't going to cook. I'm sorry. It was going to make a block of partially cooked, partially uncooked pasta. So I had to say something. I'm like, girls, I'm just helping. You need a bigger pan and you need a lot more water than that. And the two of you cannot possibly eat an entire package of pasta. They're like, fine. <laughs> so, but hopefully that's a, you know, a one-time thing. You know, probably, I probably wouldn't have to tell her that same thing again. But anyway, yeah, I'm a little bit of a control freak micromanager, but I'm not, I don't know. There are reasons for it. <laughs> I've kind of got like a grin on my face as I'm thinking about it so my eyes are squinty and it's really hard to see what I'm cutting when my eyes are squinting <laughs> in a grin but this this dish that she's going to make I guess that you put olive oil in the pan and you put um, like cherry or grape tomatoes in the pan and the block of feta cheese and basil chopped and then um, you can put garlic in it but she said they that they don't normally so she didn't want to put any in there and then you know salt and pepper and you bake it for like 20-25 minutes or something like that and then you take it out of the oven and stir it and um, you know, the tomatoes cook down real far. And that it's really good. I probably didn't need to cut all of these off right, right now. I could have done that when I back them, but that's okay. Anyway, then, you know, you stir it up and you pour it over your pasta. They are going to have regular pasta and I'm going to have gluten-free pasta. So see, I'm a, not a total control freak when I'm letting her choose pasta as her dinner. Not total control freak. Okay. Since this one doesn't have a ton of pattern um, in comparison, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's like these have lots of colors and stuff. I think I'm going to use this one to back it just because there's a little bit extra, whereas, you know, there's not much on here. And then this other one is, you know, the exact same page. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I need to cut the white off. The, um, the video, so excuse me, this is Monday and I just uploaded a video and, um, I think I did that video like a week ago. I don't know why I was so far behind in uploading it. I have no idea. So some of the things I talked about in the video were kind of like outdated. We are still plenty hot here, but people did quit setting off fireworks. So that's good. And I went out yard sailing a little bit on Saturday and smoke blew into Spokane from somewhere. Nobody I talked to knew where from. Okay, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use art glitter glue because I'm gonna be sewing on these. And I want 
it to dry fast. Anyway, so there was a lot of smoke in Spokane and nobody knew where it was coming from. Nobody was sure if there was a local fire or not, but nobody had heard of any, you know, local fires. But it blew out and we're fine now. I don't, you know, go outside, I don't see any. Well, like it's hazy in the far distant, you know, distance, but you can't smell anything or anything like that. So it's, it's not too bad, which is good. And did I find anything at the yard sales? I found a couple of cute things. Maybe I will show you. I have quite a few things I need to put away. Maybe I could just show a haul of all the things I've purchased lately. But not right now. I don't know. Do you guys like to see those kinds of things? Or do you not really care? I enjoy seeing what people buy. But I know not everybody does. I think the kind of videos that I would like to see when it comes to things like that is supply videos like I'm really interested in the mixed media stuff and and I've not done much of it if any because I don't have the supplies for it because I don't know what I'm looking for so it's really intimidating to me and I go to the store and you know look around a little bit and I think well is that what they were using and sometimes it's a different brand and the different brand will call it by a different name and so I'm always afraid that what I buy won't be what I'm supposed to have bought so then I don't get anything so I'll watch a video and I'll see people making something really cool I'm like, well, I want to make that, but I don't have any of the supplies to do it. So I would like to see videos like that. Okay. I think I want to use these together. So, but anyway, we're still hot here. I don't know if it's hotter than normal. I, I don't watch the news for them to, you know, say it's, you know, record high or anything like that. I, I have no idea, but it's hot. It's, I don't know what it's supposed to be today. Maybe a hundred or something like that. Um, but, you know, I'm in the house and it's air conditioned, so I really don't have much to complain about. I've talked to you guys before about my daughter's friend that lives across the street. Um, for those of you who have been around for a little while. <clears throat> when we moved here, it was a couple of weeks from now, 13 years ago is when we moved here. Um, I've been wishing my life away, apparently. I kept on thinking we were at 14 years, but it's 13. Um, we got here on like August 3rd, I think, in 2008. And my neighbor's daughter was having a birthday party within just a couple of days of us moving here. And she turned, she was turning five. And my daughter was three, about to turn four. And so, you know, they were the, you know, immediate friends and just had tons of fun together. And, you know, they've grown up together over the years. And she just turned 18. And I'm like, oh gosh, how is that even possible? And then on top of that, she leaves for college next month. 
She's going to be going to college in Montana. Um, in, I don't remember where, but I don't, I don't, I think it's like four hours or something like that. I don't know how far away. Um, so she'll be back, I guess, like at Thanksgiving time, but huge change, you know, for, for, for my daughter and for her, you know, it's like childhood is gone. <laughs> I mean, there are wonderful things to experience in their early adult, you know, years and things like that. But that, you know, running back and forth across the street in their little sundresses and playing with their dolls and that sort of thing. It's like, why does that have to stop? <laughs> but anyway, so my daughter... Um, got her a, you know, birthday gift, and she ordered her a uh, record player, which I think is funny. <laughs> um, she had a record player already, but I guess that the sound didn't work on it, or, like, it would play, but it only played at one volume. You couldn't adjust the volume, so she bought her a record player that she can take to college with her. Albums are expensive these days, too. The actual vinyl ones. Good grief. But I guess as far as inflation or whatever, you know, goes, I guess it's not any more expensive than they ever were. It's just when I was a kid and they cost $10, and now they cost 30 or however much, you know, I guess it makes sense. But... I buy, I have a record player too that I use sometimes, um, but I buy my records at thrift stores and <laughs> they cost me a dollar, <laughs> but they're buying new music on uh, records, not old music. So you don't have to do this. I'm doing it just like I said because um, I didn't run it back through to put something on the back and I didn't feel like inking the whole back. And so it's just nice to put something back there if you want. Okay, what's left? I'm going to do... I guess that's all of them. I'm going to do this one. Oh, I'm going to do it with this little clock bit on it because the colors go really well together. So I'm going to glue that down here. So yeah, she'll be leaving for college in, you know, around a month. And I can just see I'm going to cry when she goes. I can just see it. I remember one time. <laughs> I thought, I thought I was so funny. <laughs> a couple of years after we had moved here, her family went on a vacation. It was a two-week vacation to Glacier National Park. And it was torturous for my poor daughter. She's like, I need Jenna. I know, I need Jenna too. <laughs> um, well, anyway, I remember the day that they got home and Jenna... Uh, got out of the vehicle and she starts running across the street to my house and we were outside because we had seen them come so we went outside and when she starts running across the street I started running too like my arms were open like she was running to see me instead of my daughter <laughs> she's like you're crazy <laughs> I don't think she thought it was funny at all she's like your mom's weird <laughs> I remember it fondly. She's a sweet, sweet girl, and she's always been really nice, you know, to my daughter. And, you know, kids don't always want to hang out with somebody younger than them, and she never bothered Jenna. And when she would have friends from her own grade over for parties or something like that when they were growing up, she always included my daughter in that. And so... She's just the sweetest, sweetest girl. 
Hopefully they'll be friends forever. BFFs. <clears throat> okay, so this is the same, so I don't want that on there. I mean, I could, but I don't think I want to. But I'll do this and this. I think they go well together. Um, I don't think I want that much color on it, though. I think I want it more of this. What I'm afraid of, though, is that she's going to want Emily to come for a visit. And I'm not sure how comfortable I am with that. I don't know that my... I mean, I guess maybe she wouldn't, but I just see it someday. Can I go to see Jenna in college? Yeah, when you're enrolled. <laughs> I don't know. And she only has two more years because she did that college in the high school program. So when she graduated from high school, she also graduated with um, a two-year degree, I get an AA. Is that how that works? Um, so she only needs two years of college for her BA. I mean, I guess depending on what she goes into, but... So I don't know if she will still be in college by the time my daughter goes. And if my daughter would want to go where she's going. I don't know. Right now, my daughter has a very adventurous spirit and she wants to go somewhere. So I'm not sure Montana's far enough. She had talked about going overseas. But now we're just too afraid, including her. I'm not saying I'm being controlling or anything, but she's concerned that she might end up getting stuck somewhere. Um, who knows? We'll see. Uh, with COVID, I mean, she's got two more years of high school. So hopefully by that time, all of that is far behind us, you know, a distant memory. Who knows? We'll see. But she will, though, have to start making plans if she's going to do something far away. So, well, I don't know. It's just kind of a wait and see kind of thing, I guess. I think I'm going to do up here. So there's plenty of writing. And I think I'm going to do this one. Sometimes I'm jealous of the young people and the opportunities that are awaiting them and the experiences. And there are things that I would never want to do again. And there are things that I would want to do again so that I could do them better. Put more effort or just behave differently. I know not everybody is that way, but I'm one of those if only I could or if only I had kind of people. And I think that when you're one of those kind of people, you can't help it. You know, somebody can say you shouldn't, but that's just who I am. I can't help it. Um, so, yeah, there are things I would totally do differently. Um, I did fine. I graduated. <laughs> so, that's good. But... I had thought about going to another state just for a different experience. I And I wanted to go, I, I don't know, I was not aware of all of the possibilities and I don't know why. Um, I don't know why, but 
I wanted to go to Spain really bad. And my um, school was through financial aid. And there was a program that I could go. I did Spanish when I was in college, um, Spanish classes. There was a program that I could have gone to Spain for like five or six weeks. One, one summer in between, you know, the school years. And I was like, I'm doing it. Well, I didn't realize that you had to apply for your financial aid for it the previous year. Um, so like at almost the beginning of your sophomore year of college, you know, you're applying for your financial aid for your junior year of college. At least that's the way it was when I went. And I didn't know anything about the program, so I didn't know to apply for the aid. So, so I didn't get to go. I was so sad. And I think it was for people who had just finished that particular year um, of courses, you know, the following year, it was too late. You, it wasn't either that or I was graduating the following year. I don't remember, but I always really wanted to go. I think the foreign language classes are so much fun. Um, I did pretty well in them until it came to the point where we had to write papers in Spanish. I, I didn't do so well. <laughs> I was good at the rules and I could memorize words and things like that. But when it came to putting them into a sentence, you know, communication, I wasn't so good at that. And um, my friend, so I think I did three, I did two years in high school and three years in college. So this friend that I w w always sat with in college, um, we would get our papers back and we sat next to each other. <laughs> And mine had red marks all over it. And hers was pristine. And I'm like, how do you know what order to put all of those words in? I don't get it. Um, I mean, some of it I, I understood, but... Mm -mm. And, and then I thought at that point, the only way I was going to get it is if I went somewhere and could hear it being spoken. Um, so I, I never got that opportunity. I, I mean, where I grew up, it was spoken a lot, but I mean, a lot of people spoke Spanish where I, where I grew up, but it was, you know, in, in school, it was all English. So even though they could speak Spanish, they were speaking English at school. So I grew up around it and hearing it, but not, not to the point, you know, where I could understand it. I just understood you know, like some of the funny things my friends would say or something like that. You know, the naughty words and things like that. That I understood. So. Uh, my daughter's taking Spanish and she really likes it. She was supposed to go to Costa Rica in June um, with school, a school trip. But it got postponed until next year, which was good because they were telling us that the kids could get stuck there. If anybody tested positive for COVID, they would get stuck there without their parents in a hotel until they tested positive. I mean, negative. It was just really scary. And we're like, no, you're not going to be in a foreign country. All the parents decided that was just not, not acceptable. So she's supposed to go next year. And this year she's taking her third year of Spanish. Of course, last year was all online and she feels like she didn't, you know, learn as much as she could have. Not all online, but a lot of it was online. Um, so she feels like she missed out on a lot of it, which is too bad. But anyway, okay, I have, I have a couple of things that I thought I could put on these. So now mostly they're, they're decorated. They don't need anything, but like for instance, this one, there's some blue and there's some blue and I thought I could put a little label. Now this is a sticker label 
and it has a whole bunch of white around the edge. So I'm going to cut around that. I mean, I think this is going to be a long video because I'm planning on sewing them also. I was thinking about just putting something down there. Why not? Because I see people do it all the time and I don't ever, I don't do it. So I'm doing it. So my, my husband did a funny phone call this morning. <laughs> I think I'm going to go right in the center. Um, so he sits out on the back porch quite often throughout the day and, you know, he'll go and read or something like that. And we've got like a little covering on it, but it's not all the way out of the sun all the time. So sometimes you can't see that sit out there at all. There was something, I think it was maybe these two things I thought looked cute. No. Was it this one? No, that was, I had played with these and I thought, oh, there's a couple things that might look really cute. I think that, and I think, no, what did I think? Just thought I would add a couple of things. Not on all of them, but on some of them. Or perhaps on all of them. Because why not? Now this is going to be hard because it's a circle. But I'm going to try. And it would be better if I could see it better. Probably would have been good to do it off the edge a little bit. So I'm going to do that and then cut it. And it's the same color, but it's fine. Just gives it a little something. A little something. Okay, so, and you guys, this is one of the reasons why I struggle with making a video every day is I'm in my craft room every day. I work in here every day, but I'm a slow crafter and I think they're not going to want to watch me for an hour, you know, doing this. And so I tend to not video things. And then I think if I don't put up a video, then people aren't, they're not going to look for my videos and they'll think, oh, she's just not posting or something. So then, I don't know, I don't know what to do. And so I figure, um, you know, if if it gets boring, I guess then just fast forward or or whatever. But this is one of the things that goes through my head. It's like, well, I, I'm not fully prepared to just, you know, robotically do it all. And so I can't make a video. And I know that's probably not the case. And that you guys are 
capable of fast forwarding, you know, the parts that are really boring or all of the parts or <laughs> whatever. No, not like that. Maybe I'll do that. Just kind of stagger them. So these little bits and pieces I've shown in another video, but they're from this Simple Stories Bits and Pieces, and it's Simple Vintage Botanicals is the name of the little packet. Cute little things in there. Probably a little more glue than I needed. Oh, there was another thing. There's a couple things. I realized that, you know, if anybody tried to email me, I realized that I had put my email in my description box wrong a while back. So if somebody tried to email me and I ignored them, that's why I wasn't trying to ignore you. It was because my email address was wrong. And then another thing is that I missed a whole bunch of comments over the months. And that is because YouTube sends notifications and it's the same ones you guys get. I get notifications in the same area you guys do. Like if I respond to your comment and you get a notification as the same the way I look for my notifications. Well, they don't always all show up. And so how am I supposed to know? Like somebody recently watched several of my old, old videos and commented on them. Well, how am I supposed to know? Yes, they send an email, but when you get a whole bunch of emails, it's hard to look through them. It's easier just to look through your notifications there on YouTube. Because in the email, they come in blocks, and I don't know. And maybe it's not as hard as I'm making it out to sound, but it's hard for this girl. Anyway, I missed a whole bunch of them. And so if ever I totally ignore one of your guys' comments, just know that it is not intentional. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not trying to be, you know, rude or anything. Okay. You guys, I saw Shabby Dabby Doodah Tina do this one time, and I was like, that is brilliant. And just take and cut this out. And when you glue it down, nobody would ever know. I think there's a little bit too much white along this side as well. But, you know, I'll just ink it. I'll just ink it. It might have been good to ink it before I cut it. So, and then also, is there something that you guys would like for me to do? Um... I, I kind of just do the same thing, you know, all the time, which is fun for me. But if I'm not showing you anything new, maybe it's boring for you. And so if there's something you would like for me to learn and you want to learn with me, um, let me know what that is. I, I don't know. I see people do brilliant things and they look like a lot of fun, but uh, I'm such a chicken. I get so intimidated. But I am willing to try.
I have a feeling this is a really long video already, but I'm gonna keep going. We're almost done and we can sew. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> I am going to use some bright pink um, thread. <laughs> Scary. It's not something I've done before. Okay, I have my sewing machine here. I'm going to move it. And I'm actually probably going to move my camera a little bit so you can see more since I'm going to be sewing a lot. So get ready. I'm going to see if I can tilt it. I could move this too. Can you see? It's covered up now. I can't tell if you can see. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to see what angle you guys are at. No, it was probably better before. Like around there. I'm sorry about the wiggle. All right. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm thinking... I'm going to start on either side of, because I don't want to sew over that. Or I could if I'm close enough to the edge. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go for it. So this is a bright pink, but if it's way pinker than I think I might like, then I can always ink. there on the end and kind of goes crazy when I go fast it's harder to keep it straight so I I was thinking that I was gonna do a little zigzag but this had so much Uh, decoration on the actual tag that I thought the zigzag would get lost in it so I probably should have started down here. I I have my reasons for when I start doing something and then when I've actually done it I think well I should have not done it that way. So let's so okay so it's pretty pink but I mean I don't think it's too pink but you can always just go over it just a little bit and it'll tone it down a little. And I also kind of feel like the stitches are too close together, so I will probably move them apart a little bit. So this one's got a lot of decoration on it too, so I mean I could stick a little zigzag in there, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, so I'm going to start this one down here at the bottom. Go 
goes crazy. It does not like it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm trying to go fast for your guys' sake, and it's it starts being, like, uncontrollable. And you guys, I know that I say, like, I apologize a lot, but and like I've said before, it's because I know people can be really mean sometimes, and nobody has ever been mean to me, but I, I hear other people apologizing for something because somebody's, like, complained about it, and so I always try to apologize before somebody's mean, <laughs> I know, which is silly. If they're going to be mean, they're going to be mean, huh? Okay, that one's really pretty. I like the pink with that one. So, I mean, you don't have to go around it. I don't have to go around it. But you can. I do like to go and, like, touch up where the, the paper kind of got, you know, spread from the needle. Let's see. shaking I can see my camera moving out of the corner of my eye so yeah that was one of the things I know people have apologized about before I don't understand. I would never be mean to somebody on their channel. They're like, show me things, but do it my way. Yeah, I would never be mean to someone. Okay, I'm thinking I would like zigzag on this one. Now, on my particular machine, the needle will change place when I change it to zigzag. So, I kind of have to make sure that I start far enough in. I'll show you what I mean. Here, when I go, well, it doesn't because it's down, but um, as soon as I go to start zigzagging, it goes way off. <laughs> it went way off, so, but I still got some of it. And then when I switch back, I lose my settings. So yeah, that one went off, and I don't like that. And look how far away. Oh, you guys. That's not good. I really like this one, and I feel like I just messed it up. Okay, I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm going to change it back to zigzag. Um, that really bums me out. Actually, I want it a little longer, too. Okay, let's see what happens. I'll just see what happens. Maybe I can cover it with a sticker. Okay, I should have had it stop right there, but instead I stopped on the inside. Okay. Yeah, it did it again. Oh! This one's probably not going to be usable. I don't know. So, and I've done I've done the zigzag before where it switches from one to the other, and it's like I really have to think about it to make it work properly. So I don't know. I'm gonna stop while I'm, you know there and not make it any worse so that's what that looks like and look you know people do it to make it look kind of messy right so you know it's exactly what I intended 
Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. You guys probably do. I only have two more. Are you still with me? I think this one will do... We're just going to do straight stitch and be done. I wanted to put them in the pockets with you guys. I might be able to have my daughter show me how to fast forward, you know, through some of it so that you guys aren't having to watch such a long video, but she tells me that it's doable. But you guys have to remember that everything I do, I do on my phone and all of the, the little things that people use for editing their videos, it's not always available on the phone. And then the one time that I tried to move a video from my phone to my computer, it wouldn't go. So, I don't know. Okay. my phone doesn't pop out of the thing. I better loosen it and fix it that way. Okay. Make sure you guys are where you should be. Okay. So this has kind of a, I think it's a bit of a smaller hole. It doesn't look like, um, Hole punch size hole. Yeah. This one doesn't have a thing. I might put one in there or I might just put like a, a bit of a lace topper or something on it. Okay. Okay, let's get our signatures out. Okay, so this one I have. See, that will look nice because the colors, right? I mean, and these, it's not filling the whole pocket. And if I stick it too far, it's going to disappear. But I'm planning on putting something else back there. I could also do two, you know, so that they're sticking out like that. But um, I do like this one, and I'm wondering 
if I have something that would work as a topper nearby. Oops, sorry about that. No. I'm not sure I have something real handy. Okay, well, I'm going to think about that. And see what else. Okay, I actually thought I might hide something in here. So this one I did a fabric flip. And I put a pocket underneath it. And I love this pocket. I think it's so cute. So that's cute. It goes and, you know, kind of hides underneath. It's a good size. And I don't know, I don't think I want to put anything in this particular hole because I don't want it to be a bump underneath here. So I think that's good. I I'm, I'm probably will stick something else small in the pocket. Okay, so that's two of them in this signature. Let's see if I can fit two in this signature. And then again, like I showed you guys... Um, you can enlarge these. When I when I put you know put them on my computer, I was able to change the size. So you can make them bigger. I'm not sure I love any of them with the blue here. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so that's one. I feel like they're too small for this page. Uh, let's see. Maybe, maybe not. What else? Well, see, I have a smaller one in there, so I guess it's fine. Or, I like it there. So the flowers go together. This is so cute. Well, I sh I'll show you. Yay! So I put this little, little thingy on it thought that was cute. Okay. There's that. There's two in that signature. And I changed this out. I, I, I pulled the other one off. I didn't like how it looked, so I changed it. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Yay! I'll probably put something in there, but I'm not going to make you guys watch. You'll see it in the final flip through. Now, I don't know about this because there's not the right colors. There are not the right colors. But... I like it there. Okay. There you go, you guys. We got them in there. So, that was almost an hour of your guys's time. So thank you so much if you're still here. And if you fast forwarded to the end and got here, thank you for that. I understand it is a long video. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Maybe you guys could give me a suggestion. Thanks for watching. Bye.